Greetings and a warm welcome to the Gemma Movie Recap. In today's episode, we've got an exciting tale to dive into from the 2020 action-adventure film, Horizon Line. In this film, a couple flying on a small plane to attend a tropical island wedding must fight for their lives after their pilot suffers a heart attack. We'll be unveiling some key story elements, so get set to embark on a journey into Horizon Line. But before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. After surviving a plane crash, Sarah and Jackson find themselves stranded on a remote, uninhabited island in the middle of the ocean. As they struggle to survive, they uncover a startling truth about the island. Sarah and Jackson, once deeply in love, are now separated by circumstances. Sarah has left the island for a job in London, while Jackson remains behind. A chance reunion with old friends on the island rekindles Sarah's love for Mauritius, and she begins to question her decision to leave. A boat docks at the pier, carrying Jackson and his friends. Pascal, now running a diving school on the island and in a new relationship, announces Jackson's presence at an upcoming beach party, forcing Sarah to face her ex-partner before the wedding. At the party, Sarah can't help but watch Jackson. Summoning her courage, she approaches him, much to the irritation of his new girlfriend. Sarah tries to strike up a friendly conversation, but Jackson's responses are indifferent. Eventually, Jackson leaves the party, but Sarah persists, offering to walk him home. During their walk and subsequent drinks at Jackson's house, they flirt playfully, and their feelings for each other rekindle. However, Jackson resists a kiss, fearing betrayal. Their argument heats up, but amidst the tension, they share a passionate kiss. The next morning, after a tumultuous night, Sarah leaves without a word, leaving an angry Pascal to inform her that she missed the only fairy to the wedding. In a desperate turn of events, Sarah seeks refuge at her elderly friend Freddy's house, who plans to fly to the wedding in his small plane. To her surprise, Jackson has also agreed to fly with Freddy to the wedding. After loading a case of rum onto the plane, Sarah makes an awkward attempt to talk to Jackson, but he's still distant after their earlier encounter. During the flight with pilot Freddy, who invites Sarah to the co-pilot's seat while Jackson naps, they discuss relationships. Freddy shares his own experience of losing his wife to a serious illness and offers some wisdom about the complexities of love. Sarah used to take flying lessons from Freddy, so he suggested she take control, reminding her of safety protocols. As Sarah prepares to pilot the plane with Freddy's guidance, a mishap occurs when a gas cylinder rolls and gasps for air, hinting at a possible heart attack. Despite Jackson's efforts to secure the cylinder, a crisis ensues. With no time to spare, Sarah takes control and narrowly avoids a crash into the sea. They manage to save Freddy but find themselves lost with no GPS or cell phone signal. Their attempt to communicate via radio fails, leaving them solely reliant on a damaged autopilot, further complicated by low fuel and an approaching storm, leaving the couple facing a daunting challenge. In the midst of turbulence, Jackson remains hopeful as they navigate through the storm clouds, determined to reach safety. They finally manage to reach Samuel, the local air traffic controller, and ask for help. Samuel advises them to change direction immediately to conserve fuel, suggesting they fly west through the storm to reach land more quickly. Jackson, however, proposes the risky idea of landing the plane on the water. As the storm closes in, their communication is cut off, leaving them with no choice but to navigate through the heart of the tempest. Lightning flashes and ominous clouds surround them. In a bid to maintain control, Sarah takes the main pilot's seat despite the turbulent weather. The plane is buffeted by lightning strikes, causing instruments to go haywire. Terrified of crashing, Sarah decides to ascend above the storm against Jackson's objections. They emerge above the storm but are soon hit by altitude sickness, as Freddy had warned. During Sarah's unconsciousness, the plane begins a rapid descent. With a stroke of luck, they regain control, but their compass is damaged, leaving them off course. Jackson, recalling survival skills, fashions a makeshift compass using a magnetized needle and alcohol. They regain their bearings and turn west again. However, they've burned too much fuel during the storm, and a tank appears to be malfunctioning. Jackson, determined to fix it, plans to climb out of the plane, while Sarah realizes that without fuel, the chances of survival are slim. 
Jackson secures himself with a rope and ventures out of the plane to fix the engine breach. Come on, come on, come on. Stick. After taping it up, he accidentally falls, injuring his arm. Sarah rushes to his aid, and with her help, they manage to get him back inside the cockpit. She treats his fracture, and they discover they have only 5% fuel left. To save fuel, they toss out seats and luggage, catching the attention of a passing boat. Realizing this isn't enough, Sarah decides to dispose of Freddy's body and the liquor crates. Jackson suggests using rum as fuel, but due to his injury, Sarah takes on the mission. Climbing onto the plane's roof, she pours the rum into the fuel tank. This risky endeavor pays off, slightly increasing the fuel level. They spot a small island and decide to attempt a landing, notifying the dispatcher of their plans. However, the fuel runs out completely, and the engine fails. As the plane glides through the air, Sarah reflects on her actions and apologizes to Jackson for the pain she caused him. Jackson and Sarah both apologize for their past mistakes and selfishness. Suddenly, Jackson spots a tiny island through the window, prompting Sarah to turn the plane around and attempt an emergency landing. However, during the descent, they lose control of the aircraft. Jackson desperately tries to alert the dispatcher about the emergency. Despite Sarah's efforts, the plane crashes into the water and flips over, leaving them trapped inside as water fills the fuselage. Sarah manages to open the door, swim to the surface, and then dive back to rescue the unconscious Jackson, who was stuck in the sunken plane. After giving him a life jacket, they both make it to dry land, where Sarah administers CPR to revive Jackson. Exhausted but relieved to have survived, they briefly doze off on the beach, only to wake up to the realization that the land around them is gradually disappearing due to rising water levels. Feeling desperate, they hold onto each other as the ground beneath them continues to vanish. Sharks are drawn to Jackson's reopened wound, and they confess their love for each other, preparing for what seems like the end. However, a small fishing boat arrives in response to their rescue signals just in the nick of time. They are pulled to safety, vowing never to say goodbye again as they share a heartfelt kiss. Thank you for joining us in this movie recap. We trust you've captured all the key plot details and enjoyed revisiting the storyline. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for additional movie recaps and thrilling content. Your support inspires us and empowers us to create more fantastic videos like this. We genuinely appreciate your viewership and stay tuned for more recaps arriving shortly.